This Headless Professor video is about John Holland's theory of the vocationally related personality. This theory deals with six different personality types or traits, and it does not deal with individuals' aptitudes for performing certain careers. In other words, this is not an evaluation of how well you can do these jobs, but whether or not these particular jobs would suit your personality traits. There are six basic types of individuals. There is type R. This is a person who is hands-on. He's interested in careers such as farming, working with mechanical things, or construction. Remember the sitcom Home Improvement? Remember Tim the Tool Man? He was a type R individual. He was happy working with his hands, making things, fixing things. Then we have the type I individual. Holland used the letter I to stand for investigative. These are people who are conceptual problem solvers. They're happiest working in a library, a laboratory, or in front of a computer. Then we come to type A individuals. And this stands for artistic. These are individuals who like to work in a loose and unstructured kind of environment. They like to be very creative. The kinds of careers that would fit them would be a musician, an author of books, especially of creative writing, a dancer, or a filmmaker. Remember that Holland's typology deals with personality, your preferences, whether or not you would like to do this kind of work. It does not say anything about your ability to do such work. And unfortunately, there are many people who think they would be great musicians or rap artists or film directors who maybe do not have the talent to be successful in those careers. Then we come to type S, which stands for social. These are people who really want to help other people. They work best in environments where they can mentor and nurture others. High S people would be happy doing jobs involving teaching, nursing, or counseling. We then come to type E. This stands for enterprising. These are natural shakers and movers, people who want to lead other people in order to achieve organizational goals. These people would be wise to go into careers in law or politics or become military officers. Within business, they could be managers, they could engage in sales, or they could be entrepreneurs. We then come to the type C individual conventional people who like to work in a structured kind of environment. They would be happy with the paperwork of an office or a bureaucracy. They would be content to work in the predictable routine of an assembly line. Remember that Holland's personality types are only one factor which look at the compatibility of an individual with a given career or position. There are numerous other factors that also come into play with individual effectiveness and job satisfaction. For example, there are aptitudes or abilities, and there are job-related priorities. Perhaps the individual position involves a work schedule or a salary that you would find inappropriate. 
and even though the job fits your personality and even though you have the ability for the job, it may not be the right position for you. If you have any comments about this or other Headless Professor videos, write me, brink at usa.com.